U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is on his second trip to West Asia since Israel and Hamas went to war. The visit comes in the backdrop of growing calls for a ceasefire in Gaza as Israeli attacks have killed at least 9,480 Palestinians so far. The U.S. diplomat met with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas during his visit to the West Bank. During his visit as well, Blinken called for a stop to quote-unquote extremist violence against Palestinians in the West Bank. The state secretary also emphasized that Gazans must not be forcibly displaced. Meanwhile, the visit... <laughs> Meanwhile, the visit comes amid demonstrations as a number of Palestinians were seen marching through Ramallah to protest Blinken's visit. The meeting follows Blinken's visit to Jordan where he met King Abdullah II and Crown Prince Hussein. Earlier, the top U.S. diplomat had discussions with Arab states on Israel's assault on Gaza. Foreign ministers of Jordan and Egypt stood alongside Blinken and repeatedly pushed for a cessation of hostilities. They said that the death of thousands of civilians could not be justified as self-defense. But Blinken said that a halt would allow Hamas to regroup and attack Israel again. It's our view that uh, a ceasefire now would simply leave Hamas in place, able to regroup and repeat what it did on October 7th. Blinken also held a meeting with Jordan's foreign minister who reiterated that a call for peace is the only solution to the conflict. Uh, this is not a religious war. It's not a war between Muslims and Jews. This is defined in its context and all our values, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, all other human values uh, uh, dictate that we work for peace and we stop this madness and we do not allow for, uh, for the uh, very dangerous dehumanization that we see. Air traffic at Hamburg Airport in Germany remains suspended over a suspected hostage situation involving a child. This comes after a vehicle broke through security and entered the airport premises. Police said an armed man drove through a barrier with his four-year-old daughter. He fired two shots into the air and flung two burning bottles out of the vehicle. The police are at Hamburg airport with a large contingent. At around 8 p.m., a 35-year-old man drove his vehicle through the gate and onto the tarmac at Hamburg airport. He apparently has his four-year-old daughter with him. At the moment, it looks like we are dealing with a hostage situation. And, um, yeah, im moment sieht es so aus, dass wir es hier mit einer Geiselnahme zu tun haben. After police arrived at the scene in large numbers, the airport management posted on social media platform X that efforts to negotiate with the driver or the vehicle are still ongoing. According to authorities, it is likely that the situation involves a custody dispute. The driver's wife had previously contacted the police, alerting them about the abduction of her child. On Saturday evening, 17 flights scheduled to land in Hamburg were diverted after the incident. Another 286 flights was scheduled for Sunday, but the airport is closed for all takeoffs and landings until further notice. Our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibol, has sent us this report. The situation at the Hamburg airport remains uh, precarious. Uh, the airport remains closed and no flights uh, or have left the airport or landed at the airport. And this is because of the ongoing hostage situation, which is uh, seen as a custody battle as well. There's a 35-year-old man and uh, uh, a girl, a small girl, which are involved and are present at the tarmac. Uh, we know that the authorities are making sure uh, that uh, there is no untoward incident and um, even psychologists have been uh, put in place to ease the situation. But the situation remains uh, concerning. And remember, this is one of the busiest airports in Germany with almost 200 flights on a daily basis leaving and entering the airport. Sudhan Sibyl for Vion in Berlin. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.